geologists have confirmed that Africa is gradually splitting in two, and a new ocean is forming right between the continent. Reports about the major geological event first went viral in 2018, when images of a massive crack in southwestern Kenya made headlines across the globe. Southwest Kenya recently experienced the emergence of a huge crack that extended for several kilometers. The Nairobi Narok roadway recently collapsed due to the crack's recent growth. The crack's early stages were tightly linked with tectonic action along the East African Rift. This may have happened for various reasons, including erosion channels. However, it's still unclear why the fissure developed where it did and whether it bears any significance to the East African Rift. After posts about a new ocean being created as the continent splits in two appeared online, the African continent has once again come to the forefront of social media discussion. Twitter posts containing the headline, African continent splitting in half, have gone viral after several reports started trending again. Now, the entire planet Earth does not hold the constant state of homeostasis. It changes take place at such a microscopic scale that it can be very difficult for us to see them. Plate tectonics is a classic example. Although the tectonic movement continues on a minute scale, it is only observed when a significant event occurs. But every now and then, a particularly dramatic change in the tectonic plate raises fresh concerns about the possibility of the African continent splitting in two. Speaking about the 2018 events, geologist David Adade said in an interview, the Great Rift splits Africa into two plates. With what is happening, we've established one plate, which is the Somali plate, is moving away from the other plate at a rate of 2.5 centimeters per year. In the near future, if this happens, we shall have the Somali plate separating from the other Nubian plate. Adade also said, there's a great need for researchers to conduct a comprehensive study on the terrain of this region so that they can advise on where roads and residential buildings can be established. This can play a key role in dealing with such natural disasters should they happen again. In 2005, a 35-mile-long rift also appeared in the far region of Ethiopia. Scientists can now clearly see indications that this shift is happening thanks to cutting-edge satellite data. The reason for this is that as the tectonic plates separate, material from the interior of Earth begins to move towards the surface and create oceanic crusts in the ridges. The Kenya Broadcasting Corporation has reported that many people have voiced shock at the idea of a new ocean possibly forming in Africa. According to Dr. Edwin Dindy of the Department of Geology in the Faculty of Science and Technology at the University of Nairobi, it is possible that indeed an ocean is forming along the eastern arm of the African Rift Valley. He said this, The eastern arm of the Rift Valley is fairly active. This is seen in the many tremors that occur around it. It will, however, take a long time, probably millions of years, for such to happen. This is a unique opportunity to witness something like this, because most of these events take a place in the ocean, making it difficult for experts to observe them. But thanks to the fissure in the Afar Desert, they can learn more about tectonic plate movements. So what exactly is a Rift Valley? The process responsible for the shifting face of the continent is known as plate tectonics. This is a process where the enormous tectonic plate beneath the Earth's surface crush together and move apart. The tectonic activity is also responsible for other phenomena, like volcanoes and earthquakes, and it tends to be connected around specific areas. The term Rift Valley is used to describe spots where tectonic plates are gradually moving further apart. A gully is left behind by this movement, which can occasionally create deep cracks. This was, incorrectly, cited as the cause of cracks seen in Africa. According to scientists, the Great Rift Valley system, which is caused by tectonic activity beneath Africa, will ultimately split the continent in half. The line stretches from southwestern Asia to the Horn of Africa, comprising a series of fault lines. As a result, the seafloor might extend into the space created by the separation of the region around Somalia from the rest of the continent. Now, why does rifting happen? When the lithosphere is subjected to a horizontal extensional force, it stretches and becomes thinner. Following this, the lithosphere will eventually fracture, resulting in the formation of a rift valley. This process is accompanied by surface manifestations along the rift valley in the form of volcanism and seismic activity. Rifts are the first stage of continental breakup and, if successful, can result in the creation of new ocean basins. One example is the South Atlantic Ocean, formed by the breakup of South America and Africa around 138 million years ago. 
extensional pressures that are strong enough to split the lithosphere are necessary for continental rifting. The East African rift is considered to be an active type of rift, where the circulation of the underlying mantle is the cause of these stresses. The lithosphere beneath this fissure is being lifted upward by the rise of a sizable mantle plume, which is causing it to weaken due to the rise in temperature, stretch, and fracture by faulting. Geophysical data have revealed evidence of this hotter than normal mantle surge, which is frequently referred to as the African superswell. This superplume has been used to explain the anomalously high topography of the southern and eastern African plateaus, in addition to being a widely recognized source of the pull apart forces causing the formation of the Rift Valley. The East African Rift is remarkable in that it allows us to see various rifting stages along its length. The East African Rift Valley divides the African plate into two unequal sections, the Somali and Nubian plates, over a distance of more than 3,000 kilometers from the Gulf of Aden in the north of Zimbabwe in the south. When the significant cracks abruptly emerged in the southwest of Kenya, activity along the eastern branch of the Rift Valley, which runs along Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania, became apparent. This rift is young in the south where extension rates are modest and faulting is widespread. There is little seismicity or volcanism. But as one approaches the Afar region, the Rift Valley bottom is entirely covered in volcanic rocks. This indicates that the lithosphere in this region has thinned almost to the point of total breakdown. When this happens, a new ocean will begin forming by the solidification of magma in the space created by the broken up plates. Seafloor spreading will eventually advance the full length of the rift over the course of tens of millions of years. NBC News estimates that the formation of the ocean could take between 5 and 10 million years. The African landmass will shrink as a result of the ocean flooding in, and a sizable island made up of the Horn of Africa and portions of Ethiopia and Somalia will exist in the Indian Ocean. Dramatic occurrences, such as faults that divide highways in two, suddenly can heighten the urgency of continental rifting. However, rifting is a very sluggish process that, most of the time, goes about splitting landmass without anybody even noticing. In recent research, which was published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, seismic data from the rift formation was combined to show that it is driven by processes that are similar to those at the bottom of the ocean. The tectonic plates of Africa and Arabia meet in the desert and have been slowly drifting apart for about 30 million years. The Red Sea has also been split by the same motion, though it only does so at a pace of a few thousands of an inch per year. Geologists have estimated that the Earth formed around 4.5 billion years ago. The continental shelf started forming when the melting rocks beneath Earth's surface pushed through the columns onto Earth, creating the supercontinent 3.2 billion years ago, followed by the formation of the continental crust. According to Dindy, an interview with the Department of Geology, the tectonic plates are in a state of flux with some shifting against one another along fault zones, some collapsing beneath one another, and others crashing into one another and tearing apart from one another at divergent plate boundaries. The regions we know today, Africa, South America, North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia, were formed as a result of this motion. Dindy claims that this East African Rift Valley, which is still active and widening, may lead to the creation of a new ocean in Africa, was also formed as a result of the continuous motion within the continental crust.